What is good, everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with another Xenoverse 2 sub Saturday video for you guys today. We are here with the most disrespectful combos from you guys on Xenoverse 2, obviously. Now, a couple things I want to mention before we actually get into this video. First and foremost, guys, there was not that many sub Saturday submissions this week. So that is due to my fault. I only announced it one time, and I believe it was at the end of the video, and I forgot to announce it again. So I do apologize for those who did not know about this week's sub Saturday or things like that. Now, the second thing I want to mention, guys, is the simple fact that tomorrow, if I get everything working properly with my PC, which it seems like I should be, I will be doing a full-on speed run on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot live stream. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it on uh, YouTube live or if I'm going to be on another website that is always linked down below in the description of all of my videos. I'm just not really allowed to say it on YouTube because they can strike me potentially, which is just absolutely dumb. But again, that should be going on tomorrow. Just really depends on if I get everything going with my PC, make sure everything is working perfectly so we can actually make that happen. So I just wanted to mention that really quickly for you guys before we get into this sub Saturday right here. But that's enough talking from your boy. Let's jump straight into this heat and get into these disrespectful combos from Young on Xenoverse 2. Alright y'all, getting it started with the very first submission on this week's sub Saturday. This one comes in from only RDF2050. Now usually I will say this. Usually I start at the bottom of the list of all the submissions that I've sent in and I work my way to the top. But the homie RDF2050 had a, such a fire submission last week. That I figured we get this week's sub Saturday they started off right and with an absolute bang. So that's what I'm hoping for from this right here. Now I will say one thing: this is his CAC, not Android 21. I know it looks like Android 21. You can't really see her in the the screen, but on the top left, you know, um, it kind of looks like that when the eyes and stuff and the face are a little bit blocked. But it is his CAC, just to keep in mind. All right, getting into this combo. Okay, okay. Oh, crazy finger shot with the key blast. Okay. Wait, was that a fank? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it. Another crazy fake. Oh, my God. That's like five, six moves already. Oh, oh, the head side. And then he hits him with the mystic eye spray. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Like I said, get it started with an absolute bang. Thank you, Art. Maybe I should start sub Saturdays with this man more often. But hold on, let's revisit this really quick. The number of moves. We got one on the crazy finger shot. So that was faint crash right there. I was paying attention to the key blast the first time around. But that was faint crash he uses. So that's two skills. Then he hits him with the petrifying spit. Three skills. Four skills. I believe he hits him with a crazy finger shot right here. Hold on. See, it's 11 hits. Boom. Tw he did. So five skills. Six. Seven. And eight. Oh my God. And they're all disrespectful for the most part. Besides really faint crash and crazy finger shot, petrifying spit is disrespectful. Headshot is disrespectful. Finish, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm choking on my own spit over here. Finishing blow is disrespectful. Mystic ass spray is definitely disrespectful as well. Because you think about it, you're literally shitting on your opponent. Like, you know, that when every week some like vegetables, some bad vegetables, and you get the, the bubble guts, and that's what comes out your ass. It'll be looking green just like that, I promise you. So again, the combo was absolutely heat. The disrespect was there all around. Just honestly, an, an amazing overall combo and definitely the right way to get this video started. So again, huge, huge shout out to homie RDF2050 for submitting this submission right here. But guys, as you know, we have more clips to get through. So let's move on to the next clip. All right, y'all, moving on to the very next submission. This one comes in from the homie Vern. Huge, huge shout out to him for sending this in right here. Now, I will say one thing about this combo or about this whole clip, first of all. At the beginning of it, Vern was actually on this man's ass when it, the clip started. He was stamina broken, but his opponent had already, like, limit bursted and all this other stuff. So Vern basically had to get his stamina back down throughout this whole match, that whole long process, things like that. And that's why I decided to skip ahead for you guys. But I want you to take notice of my man's health. My man Stamina's and the time left in the match. Like, things are not looking good for him, especially when you look at his opponent. The only thing that his opponent has not in a good way is that Stamina. So I'm hoping, well, we, we kind of know the Stamina break is going to come. I mean, that's the point of submitting. If he got his ass whooped, he wouldn't submit it. But here we go, here we go. Stam c come on, Twitter, stop, stop, stop playing. We'll be right back when Twitter stops being an asshole. Five minutes later. Alright, so we got it right back to the point of the stamina break. Hopefully, Twitter is not on some nonsense this time around. 
Okay, so here we go with the combo. Okay, starts it out with the murder grenade. It went to the milky. Oh, wait, did the milky even hit? And then a finishing blow. Oh, the setup on the milky cannon, though. And then another finishing blow into the... I believe that was right. Hold on. I, I got so hyped about the setup. I didn't even see the finish of it besides the darkness rust. He did something else before that. I believe another finishing blow. But the setup... Wait, we skipped back too far. The setup, bro, and that milky cannon with the grab. That was heat. I thought it was going to hit right there, but you see how it, like... It, wait, it, like, knocks him... Does it knock him out and, like, not hit him? Or he... What the... Bro! He, this... You talk about the big brain plays! Like, you, you know... Okay, I'll say this, man. I'll say this. I never thought, I never thought setups would necessarily really be a thing, like in Xenoverse. You know, it's like something you see in real fighters, like trying to set your opponent up and, and like get mix-ups, things like that, or or something along those lines. You know, I don't, like a setup like that, like that, that's a different type of setup, you know, how he set up that combo, but still, like, that, I never thought I would say that word with Xenoverse, and that was just absolutely huge. Like, that was so fire, how he had to grab combo into the Milky Cannon, bro. That was my favorite part of the combo, without doubt. Still an overall fire combo when you think about it all around. I believe he used like five or six skills in total. Um, but that that grab into the Milky Cannon, definitely my favorite personal part from this combo right here. So huge, huge shout out to homie Vern for sending this submission in, guys. But let's keep this thing moving and get on to the next clip. All right, y'all, moving on to the very next submission. This one comes in from the homie, the no-name warrior. Huge, huge shout-out to him for sending this in um, to me for sub Saturday. He usually comes through it as some absolutely fire combos and things like that. Now, we give him the name no-name warrior because he does not want his PSN to be shown. As you see, he zooms in, all things like that, and I'm going to respect the homie's wishes, of course. So let's jump straight into this combo and see what no-name has for us. And like I said, usually he comes through with some absolute heat. I was gonna. I, I was about to. Oh, come, come, come on, Twitter. Are you serious, bro? What the hell is going on with this stupid computer? So I'm glad I got a new PC, bro. This is my old PC that was. So my new PC is using Elgato. Okay. Okay. Here we, let's get into the combo. Starting out with the variant drive into the finish. Oh, oh, oh! The combo was saucy. Hold on. I like the sauciness from this. And he's in with the tone. Yes. Oh, and yeah, I like that right there. Not. I lost my words. But not only did that use like 7 a Oh, there's more. We're going to have to revisit that first combo in a second. We might have to revisit the second one too. Starts it off with the blazing attack into the faint crash and the limit burst. Oh, okay, justice combo. You don't really see that too often anymore. Not going to lie. But justice combo into... Oh, oh, oh the, the way he's just like right in front of him. I just feel like that's a little bit more disrespectful because he's like right in his face with him. The spirit sword like that. Okay, let's check this first combo out. Oh, what the hell? Why does it keep stopping at that point, bro? This is really pissing me off. But check this first combo again. Starts out with the variant drop. That's move one. Move two, move three. He uses an evasive as well. Then he goes, wait, was there anything before the maidens? He used another finishing blow before the maidens burst or blast something like that whatever that's called then he's him with the taunt that's move number six another finishing blow into the darkness rush so he incorporated eight moves both ultimates in it hit him with the taunt multiple um finishing blows so not only was the combo fire but he had the disrespect factor going as well that combo in my opinion was definitely the better of his two between the two that he sent in now the second one was some fire i like the spirit sword ending with the opponent right in his face things like that but again that sec that first one was definitely my favorite between the two of the homies combos right here but guys we still have i believe like almost five clips left to go for this week's sub saturday there was not that many um clips this submit or this in particular sub saturday due to my own fault like i probably explained in the intro of this video but let's keep it moving and get on to the next submission all right, y'all, moving on to the very next submission. This one comes in from the homie Bumblebee4344. Huge, huge shout-out to him for sending this clip in. Now, I will say one thing about this clip. I have had to skip ahead quite a bit to get to this point where it seems like he's going to break his opponent's stamina. And I'm assuming this clip has multiple combos because there's still, like, three minutes left in it as well. And the match could only go on for two minutes and a half anyway. So, like, it's, it, I'm assuming this stamina break is coming soon. And this match is not going to be the only one we get. Oh, that was a little laggy. Okay, stamina break into the sledgehammer. To the burning attack savage strike okay i'm like i'm liking the combo so far Ooh, what the fuck? this is gonna end him though i mean the combo the co the first combo was pretty nice don't get me wrong um disrespect factor 
half and half. You know, I, I, the divine last was definitely a disrespectful move. I like that right there. Um, the combo overall was definitely nice. Burning attack is a like buff move um, that I think is fairly good now. After the DLC 10 patch, you see a lot more people incorporating combos and things like that. Oh, hold on. I didn't even realize this is another full match. So let's. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I actually got it right. I panicked because I hit the stamina break right on point. Okay, got it right right there. Into the sl sledgehammer burning attack. Same setup? Ooh, what a times 100. The combos are nice. You know what I mean? The combos that he's coming with are definitely nice. But the disrespect factor is ha half and half right now. Okay, wait. How did he... Did he just disrespect? Did he... Did he break this man's stamina with a perfect block? I didn't even... I'm sweating. It's kind of hot. I need to take this jacket off, to be honest. He did. He... Okay, I like that right there. But then he hits him with the limit burst. And, and it seemed that he skipped ahead. Okay, so he... Oh, he broke him twice with the stamina... With the, he broke his stamina twice with the perfect block. Okay, I like that. I like that star. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. evil world went into the savage strike. Oh, the fake crash straight up his ass. I like that right there too. What come here, man? Not too disrespectful, but the fake crash up the ass. Look at that. Not only does it rhyme and sound cool, but it he literally shoved his foot up this man's ass. Watch. Ugh. Damn. Okay. Okay, I see you, my boy. Any perfect block? Oh, I, I, I think I like this clip the most. Because he, he hit him with the grab to end it as well. That's, you know, he just waited. He's like, come here, boy. Let me grab you really quick. And he rage quit. I definitely like that clip the most right there out of all of them. No doubt. Out of all the ones I've seen so far from the man, that was probably my favorite without doubt so far. Bro, this man, he, he really trying to hit that time stand. I've seen like that. Damn, that's three already. He really trying to get that time stand off. Okay, finish him. Ooh, okay, finish him. Blow into the ice. Into the, into the Molotov. Okay. Okay, I like that right there. Now, I will say one thing, because I know a lot of people are going to get this combo this combo twisted in the combo, in the comments. Just by seeing it right away, I know people are going to be like, oh, that's unbanishable, that's really cheese and all this stuff. Guys, you got to take into consideration where his opponent's health is. He's literally doing this for a disrespect factor and disrespect alone. Dudes could have died in multiple different ways right there. Like, 3J Savage, I'm sorry. You could have died in, like, a bunch of different ways right there. You knock your way, he could have used a move that does a little bit of damage. You know, he could have actually done a real combo to keep you... I mean, to, that, that does more damage than the combo he was doing for the disrespect. So the match was pretty much over at that point in time. He could have ended in a multitude of ways, but he decided to do that. You know what I mean? Um, instead, for the disrespectful factor. So again, I don't really see things like that as cheese. So let's back it up, though. To the, okay, stamina break right here. We good. Okay, into the finish. Oh, he got out of it. How did he get out of that? it has got to be some lag. But I, I, the setup looked nice with the fin. That looked pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie how he was looking back at him, but now he's just he's just throwing innocence cannons. A little bit confused on this right here. What's he really going for? Okay, innocence cannon. He goes away, knocks away. Oh! I like the distro. Okay, that changes everything about this right here. And it would have been a lot better, I feel like, if he would have got the finishing blow. Like, if the finish, because finishing blow is, is that, you know, neck chop straight to your boy, you know what I mean? So, the fact that if he would have got that off with it, it would have just been that much better. That last combo might have, I don't know. That last combo that went with the multiple stamina breaks with the perfect block. One of those two was definitely my favorite between the two. But huge, huge shout out to the homie Bumblebee for submitting this. I really like that meditation finished at the end right there. Again, it would have been a lot better if he got the finishing blow into the Innocence Cannon and then hit him with the meditation. But I, I, somehow he got out of that. I don't know how he was like his opponent just like moved like that. It was weird. So again, man, huge, huge shout out to homie Bumble before this. I believe we have like one or two clips left though for me to take a look at and see if they'll actually make it in. So let's move on to those or we're going to go to an outro. All right, y'all, moving on to the very last submission right here. This is comes in, This one comes in from the homie OP Otaku44401. Huge, huge shout out to him for this submission right here. And I want to give a shout out to him for all the other submissions he sent as well. A lot of you guys already know this man because of all the fire combos he sent in the past. Now, the name of this combo right here is Stay Frosty. Last time he came through with a combo that was called like the Nut Breaker or Nut Clan, something along those lines. I know it had to do with the name Nuts. 
in it and it just straight it, like this man just literally mutilated his opponent's nuts like that's what happened so i'm assuming this combo is gonna have to do with something like freezing his opponent or something along those lines so let's just jump straight into it and see what the man is working with for us now his opponent's stamina is low at the start of i'm assuming the stamina break is coming right here probably right here okay that's why i didn't skip ahead at all because his opponent's stamina was already low so okay starting out with the petrifying spit oh taunt into the freezing beam with another taunt i see him he freezing the hell out of his opponent then he hit him with the ice cannon okay one more taunt for the road and the headshot to end it i absolutely loved it oh, he, he beat my oh that's tough but that's irrelevant it is irrelevant when you think about it and you think about the disrespect laid out okay bonus clip okay See what he got for us right here on this bonus clip. Okay, hits him with the freeze beam. Oh, he quit! I was, gonna, I was just about to say hit him with the taunt, but he, that was perfect timing. Like, watch. He literally taunts as the quit pops up. Like, that was in sync. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Literally taunt as the quit pops up. That was so fire right there. But like I said earlier, when you can literally... You know, disrespect the opponent to the point where they want to rage quit. That's when you know you've done your job. But guys, take a look at this combo. Like, if he lost this match, which he said he did, he literally gave the match up for this stamina break combo right here. He spits on him, taunts him, freezes him, taunts him, freezes him again, walks up to him all nice and casually, taunts him one more time, and then ends it with a headshot. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to some of his stats because he used up a lot of stuff in this. Where was his stats? Okay, at the beginning, before the stamina break combo, he had full key and four bars of stamina, right? At the end of the combo, my man's had no key and barely a bar of stamina as well. So he basically tossed the match just for the disrespect and the disrespectful combo. I absolutely love the dedication right there. That takes a lot of heart. So shout out again to the homie OP Otaku for this combo right here. It was absolutely fire without doubt. Now, again, like I said, this was the last submission that we had for this week's sub Saturday. So shout out to everybody that made it in and everybody that submitted on this week's sub Saturday. It really means a lot to me, you guys. Like I said before, sub Saturday is not possible without you. So keep them clips coming. I will announce the next sub Saturday tomorrow for sure. I keep having these things pop up like Jesus. <laughs> I will have next sub Saturday out for you guys, um, or next sub Saturday announced for you guys for sure, for sure tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that video so you guys can find out what the topic is and how to enter as well. But as always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, hope you have a good day. Peace, y'all.